Hello friends, it's me Chenwin Coder. This is the 14th chapter in the Java FX 3D tutorial series and in the last video we applied the te texture over the sphere and currently we don't have any mouse control. We can't do anything to this 3D object. So in this video we'll talk about uh, adding that controls and adding some extra layer of details to the st uh, texture like uh, specular map and bum map etc. So let me reuse the code for mouse control from my previous chapters. We thoroughly discussed this in chapter four and five. So the most important thing is this init mouse control method. Let me just copy that and add it right here. And I have some constants or I have some variables and I have to make, copy these variables also. And the last thing I have to do is to call this function init mouse control and it can be called from somewhere here init mouse control and i have to pass my smart group which is the world object and i have to pass the scene and i have to pass the primary stage with this much of code we will get total control over the 3d world using mouse let me show that to you and if i rotate this and as you can see it is rotating very fine we are we got the total control i can if i zoom in i i am getting this uh zoom in zoom out effect i mean the set, set axis control is working and let us do the texture work now currently we have applied only the diffuse map we have to add some more extra detail to get the effect so i'm going to apply the self-illumination map right now if you look at this image this is my self-illumination map right now and if you look at closely you can see the black and uh, yellow pixels so the black pixels won't be lit in the earth but these parts these yellow parts will be lit and act as a self-illumination so we talked about this in the previous chapter so i'm just going to apply this image as self-illumination map for the earth and that can be done in just one line just like this i need to provide it as self-illumination map and here instead of using earth d i need earth l so this is the self-illumination map and in case you wonder how did i do that if you press ctrl q in that means you will get the resource overview now let me just run this program and see how it is looking and as you can see, we got the nice and awesome self illumination. Now we have to add the reflection map. And for the reflection, I have the specular image, yes. So the idea here is the lands, the land areas actually won't reflect much of the light uh, because that is black. All the sea parts, all the sea areas, which is having the relatively white pixels will reflect more light so that is the idea of this reflection if you guys want more reflection over the land areas compared to the sea then you can give white pixels here and black pixels there but for now i am going to use this at s.jpg and for that i can use copy that line and set specular map here so uh, no that is not specular color we have to set specular map okay then instead of earth l i have to set it as earth es so i will set the specular map and if i run this program right now you can see that we are getting that reflection you can see this white part right i mean it is not coming in the lands but in the c section in the water section we are getting a nice reflection and that's exactly what we want and that's about the third detail and we have to give a bum map so we'll discuss bum map also and for the bum map i have this image earth n dot jpeg so what it will do is it will create bumps in this portion this is just a simple image and if i give it it will create the bumps and for that let me specify it like this earth material no i can just reuse this code right set bum map and here I can pass that image and which is the n.jpg n.jpg and now we should get a nice bump effect in the earth 
and as you can see we are getting that bomb effect right now if you look at india my home is somewhere around uh, let me show you my uh, somewhere around here and we are getting a nice bumps there okay guys that's the end of this video we added mouse control and more details to here and in the next video we will proceed from here so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos